We're going to look at finding the lowest common multiple and we're going to look in particular at finding it of larger numbers um, where we're going to use prime factorization to help us. So let's recap how we used to find lowest common multiple. So we'd first, if we were finding the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5, we would write out the multiples of 3, okay, in other words, things you get when you multiply by 3, so there they are, and the multiples of 5, and now we're looking for the a common multiple, so something that, a number that's in both those lists, and we're looking for the lowest one, so the smallest number that's in both of those lists, and that is 15, and so the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. But now, if we wanted to, say, for example, find the lowest common multiple of 360 and 252, I mean, I don't know my 360 times table, I'm sure you don't either, so trying to write out the multiples of 360 um, and of 252 until we get to a common one is going to actually take us a lot of time. So, what we're going to do instead is going to use prime factorization. You should be very familiar with prime factorization now, so I'll go over that quickly. Let's look at 360 and find its prime factors. So 360 is 10 times 36. You might start in a different way. doesn't matter how you start. We'll all get to the same answer in the end. And then 10 is 2 times 5. Those are prime. 36 is 2 times 18. 2 is prime. 18 is 3 times 6, where 3 is prime. And then 6 is 2 times 3. And those are both prime. And so now we can say that 360 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times by 5. So that's your prime factorization of 360. Let's look at 252. It can be split into 6 times 42. 6 is 2 times 3. Those are both prime. 42 is 7 times 6. 7 is prime. 6 is 2 times 3. And those are both prime. And so we've got 252 written as a product of prime factors, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. Now, if we have a look at that, we're going to see that 252 and 360, they've got in common a 2 times 2, both of them have that, and a 3 times 3. We're going to draw a picture of that, so we're going to put everything that's in 252 in the yellow, and everything that's in 360 in the green. And then this picture is going to help me sort out what's going on a little bit better. So in that overlap between the yellow and green circles, that's where we're going to put the stuff that's in both of those numbers. So the prime factors that are in both those numbers. So what we've got in both those numbers is the 2 times 2 and 3 times 3. Then to complete our 252, we still need a 7. And to complete our 360, we need the 2 and the 5. Now, if we're looking for the lowest common multiple of 360 and 252, it's got to contain all of 360, so everything that's in the green circle. And it's also got to contain all of 252, so everything that's in the yellow circle. And so the lowest common multiple is going to consist of everything that we can see there. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, and then the 7 of the 252, and then the 2 and the 5 of the 360. So absolutely everything that is in that picture. And if you multiply all those together, it comes to 2520, which is the lowest common multiple of 252 and 360.